favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He allows his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. What a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Check the high kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh! Oh, nice jab. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big head kick. You're trying to take him down. There you go. Oh, high amplitude slam for him there. Wow. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. But now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. Oh, nice job, DC. And he's out. Close guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Kabbalah. Good punch, land. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Blocks the strike. Right hook to the body. He loaded up there on that high kick. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, he got that knee up. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. So 31 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Nice punch lands over the top. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches, and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get... Heavy on his leg. Elbow deep, takes him for a ride. What a high impact takedown that was. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now he's gonna attack a triangle choke here. Hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice punch land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Hands up, hands up. Single collar tie now. Oh, big head kick this. Left hook right here. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, he got it! He's out! He got it! Oh my goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touch club. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.
Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle, Fernando Mena. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.